meeting once again. So in this particular video, I'm going to talk about World Pharmacies Day 2022, which we just, we celebrated today, actually we're marking the day today, but we had different celebrations that started the whole week from Monday the other day, at a particular moment that we are going to the next phase. And one of the key things that for us, we need to look at is what is the role of a pharmacist in our society? What role are they playing? And how do we mainstream this in line with our mission? And that is actually well captured in our theme for this year. Pharmacy United in Action for a Healthier World. And this is World Pharmacies Day naturally is normally on 25th September. That is a standard as uh, the International Pharmaceutical Federation. And this day was set aside for us to celebrate the contributions of pharmacists in advancing access to healthcare services and development of our society from the research and development, manufacturing, production, supply chain, the healthcare service delivery, community support and engagement, to all the other areas where we can involve in including policy making activities. So that is the day that we celebrate on this particular occasion. So on line with the, in line with the theme for this year, Pharmacy United in Action for a Healthier World, the key aspect that I feel we need to focus on, the first one being united, that is collaboration. And that is in line with SDG number 17, partnerships and collaboration, because it's well acknowledged that however much we would want to make progress and develop and advance from globally in whichever spaces we're operating in, it cannot happen unless we are united and we are all working towards a common cause. So that unity is critical. Discharging our duty, we have to act. It just coming together and aligning and agreeing on what we need to do and failing to do what really needs to be done is not going to give us the results. And finally, what is our mission? A healthier world. And that is the why I feel this particular theme for this year has been a good one for us. It gives us the move to see there's more that we can do as pharmacists. If we are united and we put in the work by acting, then we can create a healthier world. And for me, when we had the celebrations yesterday at Jomo Kenyatta University of Agriculture and Technology, this was hosted by the Pharmaceutical Society of Kenya, Kenya Association of Pharmaceutical Industry, and the Pharmacy Students Association of Kenya. And this kind of a collaborative engagement where you see different associations and uh, industry partners coming together. And when we come together, we are sharing perspectives. We are engaging with each other in terms of what dynamics do we have in the industry? How are these working for us? How do we make them better for the next generation and actually for the future of the world as we serve a global community? So that is a critical bit for us. And I think there are areas that we can we get united. And as we celebrate this day, for me, the reflections are around what can we do as pharmacists in our different areas of practice? The first thing is to ensure we are delivering our, my, our mandate the best way possible. And that is the key the driver and deliverer of the value that we can have. But if I'm, de I'm designing and doing research and development for the best quality of the medication, and somebody is actually not doing their part in the supply chain, that medicine will not get to the patient. And therefore, there's a shortfall in them. There's a shortfall and actually a gap in the mission, which is to create a healthier world. And if the supply chain person does a good job and the clinical pharmacist at the ultimate end does not deliver on their role in terms of optimizing medication therapy and management of the patient, then that patient will not get the results we hope for. That is a flawed system. The marketing team do not sell the scientific rationale, the scientific basis behind the use of a particular medicine to the respective individuals, that is the physicians or the clinicians, so that they can make an informed judgment and decision on use of a particular product over another because of the weighted benefit risk parameters. And therefore they feel this is the right medication for the patient. We will not be delivering on that. And those are areas that we need to look at. And as we talk about all that ecosystem, we also need to work, know that we are working in a regulated ecosystem and therefore our regulators in the pharma industry, are they doing their job to ensure we safeguard the public interest we enable the research and development companies and the manufacturers to develop quality products, to get them access to the market in a timely manner. And once they're in the market in a timely manner, evidence is being used to inform their use and also to actually put in constraints where there's need to be. And that is one key thing that is in line with the pharmacovigilance. So when we understand that that kind of an integrated ecosystem is what we wish for, what we need as healthcare players and the pharma industry, generally pharmaceutical sector, then we need to see how do we get united? That is the next mission. You know that you're doing your best wherever you are. How do we get united? And that is where I believe sectoral engagements and collaborations would be key. And this should be driven by the different associations. And I'm glad that when we are celebrating World Pharmacy's Day yesterday, when you marked the day, 
we had the sectoral approach where the Kenya Association of Pharmaceutical Industry representing the industry is coming in to bring their perspectives on what does the industry do? What are the opportunities and the prospects that are there? From a professional society association perspective, what avenues do we have to enable pharmacies to work better and actually promote their welfare and engage in ensuring they have a purpose to serve in the industry? Then the next bit is asking ourselves, for this to be sustainable, there's need for continuity. And the Pharmacy Students Association was coming on from that dimension, knowing that as students, you're the next generation of pharmacists, you're the next generation of professionals who will need to be acting to ensure that that healthier world, if we achieve it in this generation, the next generation has a responsibility to sustain it. How do we make that work? That is the collaborative aspect. And on that account, the main thing is having the sectoral approach what different sectors? We have the community pharmacy, clinical pharmacy, hospital pharmacy, regulatory affairs pharmacies. We have the aspect when talking about pharmacovigilance, manufacturing, research and development, innovation, digital health solutions, marketing. Are these people going from the different sectors and identifying what are the key value propositions in delivering a healthier world? Are they doing that? Then how do we come together to form a caucus and a line? This is our mission. This is how we are going to do it. And this is how we are going to ensure we create an enabling ecosystem and environment for the realization of our mission. That would be a key bit for us in that approach. Then once we've looked at it from a sector aspect, we need to ask ourselves within the regional framework within which we operate, what are the gaps, what are the shortfalls? And when we talk about it from a regional perspective, we need to know they were talking about disease patterns that are actually maybe diseases that might be kind of dominant in certain areas, how do we address those needs? They have shortfalls in a particular geographical location because of infrastructural gaps and infrastructural challenges. How do we come together and design solutions for these different regional areas to ensure that we are all bringing the different sections, the different regions and the different localities, which might be negatively impacted and not to be able to benefit from our value. And this is a critical thing that we can actually acknowledge with COVID-19, when the conversations were going, we realized that some of the developed countries had more than enough supply of vaccines. Yet in the developing world, we had countries actually which had not even gotten 1% of the supply needs that they needed. How do we then look at the regional approach and see how do we build ecosystems that can enable each and every region to be able to access what they need when they need it in a reliable and sustainable manner? That would be good for us. Then we need to look at it from a global health strategy. What are the key pain points in a, from a global health perspective? One of the key things is infection prevention and control. And with pandemics and as we're seeing them, there's need for us to align and make a commitment to address future pandemics and actually invest in prepare, disaster risk preparedness. And pandemics and disease outbreaks are some of the disasters that we need to be prepared about. And I think that is a thing we need to look at from a global health strategy. We look at it, for, for let's say, for example, non-communicable diseases. They're becoming a menace in our society. What is our strategy? How are we going to align as an industry to address such kind of challenges? So we have it focused on particular pillars and then the global health strategy and see that as pharmacy, we're going to get united towards achieving this. And as we do that, we need to ask ourselves, how do we build the the workforce to be able to do what needs to be done today to be able to sustain that work and ensure that the future generations benefit from the advances that is going to be by documenting whatever we are doing, integrating and actually bringing an integration within the universities, within the industry, and within the professional networks where we are to ensure the students are benefiting from preferential knowledge that have been gained by industry experts, and that is going to be a blend of what we hope for. Ultimately, when all that is done, we need to ask ourselves, what sustains them? What structures are there to ensure that these advances are being maintained? That is where the policy and advocacy bit comes in critically. And that policy and advocacy is ensuring that we align our mission, we align our agenda towards ensuring we have a healthier world. How do we structure them in the different government policy documents? How do we engage at a policy level? Are we informing the policy or are we responding to policies? I believe we need to generate the evidence. And once we generate evidence, we advocate for policy changes that are based on evidence and are community driven. That will give us a healthy world that we all wish for and we all hope for. And on that account, then I believe for World Pharmacies Day 2022, as we're marking it, each of us as people working in the pharma industry or as pharmacists, we need to ask ourselves, what are we doing at an individual level? That is the action point. We need to act. 
It's not about talking anymore. We are done with talking. We are now realigning and acting and doing what needs to be done. Action is the key. Once you've known what you're going to do, ask yourself, who can you work with better to be able to deliver on that? Are we going to get united for that mission? The unity is a critical bit. So let's get united and let's work on that. And why are we all doing all this? For a healthier world. Once we have our mission, the why is in place, we know what needs to be done, we get to action, and we unite to deliver on that in an integrated ecosystem and in a sustainable way, we are going to be better informed and to better pharmacies serving the world the way we had made our author and permissions and believe that we have a role to play and we're going to play it the best way we can. And on that account, I believe that resolve is all we need to make. Once we have a resolve to deliver on this, we are going to do put in the work. We are going to achieve it for our patients, for our communities, and for the world at large. That is what I wish for you. That is what I hope for you. If you enjoyed these discussions, subscribe to the channel, like, share the, com the, feed the links to the other people, and also give us feedback. Give us the comment. I know there are certain areas that we need to improve on, and we're working on that. And I believe as we do that, continuous improvement gives us the ability to transform the ecosystem as we wish it for, to be. And therefore, I ask you to contribute and help us make this a success for all of us. Thank you so much. See you again next Sunday. And happy World Pharmacist Day to all the pharmacists watching this, wherever you are. Thank you.